Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Four Kids in a Farm. Today is a pretty exciting day because this is our first time ever hatching eBay ordered eggs. If you have never ordered eggs from eBay, it is probably one of the most addicting things that I've done recently. Looking at all the varieties of chickens, ducks, geese, quail, you could go on and on. It's all available. But we've wanted button quail from the very beginning. I was cruising on eBay and I found them. We're, we're excited. The bummer thing is that it is expensive and um, there's no guarantee. A lot of the places will guarantee that the eggs come intact, but for obvious reasons, they can't guarantee that they hatch or that they're fertile. You, there's things that you can prepare to make sure that the eggs hatch properly. It's exciting, but it's also really, really anxiety driving. You've got to wait for that package. You want to pick it up. You want to get those eggs in as soon as possible. Guys, look how beautiful those are. They're all different colors. Oh, I think that one's, this one's gotta be my favorite. These things are just tiny. Just for comparison, this is a regular size quail egg. What a bunch of just cute eggs. And we're excited to get these in the incubator. Um, <laughs> so for you asking Aaron, how come you're getting more quails? You just hatch quails. Uh, the answer to that is uh, we've wanted these kind of quails before we got the Caternix quails. Yeah, I think Rachel's mildly frustrated with me because I found this new hobby <laughs> of collecting eggs and I can get them from wherever I want, whenever I want, and they'll ship them to us and we hatch them promised we're only going to get one other hatching eggs from eBay for this year and then we'll we'll be done. How are the button quail going to fit in on our property? They're mostly going to be pets. Most of these ones will go to my mom who has an aviary that hasn't had anything in it for the four years it's been built. We may keep a couple you know just fun pets collect their eggs. The eggs are cute you can eat their eggs but these are definitely not meat size quail. Sometimes you just get things for fun. It's for fun. So today we got button quail in the mail. Ha, huh, I rhymed. So we're putting them into the incubator today. Brincia has stayed like a metronome at the right humidity, at the right temperature. It really, really makes hatching eggs incredibly easy. We candled them and we looked at the ones that looked good. Button quail are a little bit harder because their shells are not as transparent. They're pretty easy to candle as long as you have the right candler. Oh, that's a dead. He's dead? No, no it's a dead. Fertilized. Kind of important to do all your checking before lockdown. You want to set up where you don't have to mess too much with the eggs. We're going to put these ones in the tray all down on the floor and we're going to wait impatiently for them to hatch. Out of candling 20, uh, five of them are total duds. We, they're totally translucent. One of them had a crack in it. So none of these were fertile. So we'll just chuck these in the chicken bucket and hope for the other 15 to hatch. So lock down, cross your fingers. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. Cause I'm not tired. 
thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. I just miss you. guys we got some bad news this morning um, this is one of the quail that we had to help out of one of the eggs it just struggled for an hour or two and then we just found out it was lifeless like this just just a few minutes ago so one of the bummers we don't always have happy endings this is something that we kind of have to plan on it's just just mother nature not not everyone can make it so it is really sad though what's his name Darth Vader I am Darth Vader floating on a floating hollow pod <laughs> Who's this guy? This is Flash. <laughs> Flash? Mm-hmm. Because he's quick? Mm-hmm. Oh, he goes like, do, do, do. Or sometimes he just goes like, shh. But he likes to rest in people's hands. Yeah, he's pretty chill, huh? Mm-hmm. Do you see? Quail? <laughs> <laughs> 